Hello everyone, happy to be back with another action. This time it's from Austin on Patreon. He's requested Bastille. Now I've heard a couple of their songs. I'm not sure which ones I think I'm gonna know as the album progresses. They actually do one of my favorite songs of all time. It's a remix, it's No Angels, it's TLC versus the XX, and it's got movie dialogue from the movie Psycho. It's honestly one of the best songs ever. I don't know if it's on an album, it might be. I've got it, this is from like years ago, it's from like 2012 that I had this song. Bad Blood is the standard edition. As we know, I love standard editions. I like the title names that the deluxe is you know a different name rather than just bad blood deluxe it is clever there i know pompeii just from looking at it and i'm pretty sure i know things we lost in the fire just from that like, title recognition everything else i don't think i know so we shall see going in this is probably the first like dude rocky band or rock uh, yeah i'd say they're pop rock band that i've reacted to so i'm excited to see where this is going to go it's not the normal type of music that i listen to which is the best thing about people on patreon they give me so many different types of music so if you want to see the uncut link is down below if you want to join patreon you can do that hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of me yeah i'm keen for what austin has for me for bastille such an interesting name so i don't know what that means but let me know if you do know what bastille means let's get this ready if i can like, get it open uh, I'm ready, best still. Let's go. All right, the first song is Pompeii, so we're opening with an absolute banger. I haven't heard this song in years, and again, just because I've heard songs, it doesn't mean I actually know the lyrics or the content, so I'm keen to see what the verses have. Obviously, uh, I know the chorus, but yeah, other than that, let's go in. Let's just go with the song. Let's go with the album. Pompeii, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Even the lyrics have eh oh. Takes you back. This is like, what, 10 years ago now? Okay, I need, to, I need to read. Cat tumblers, are they English? Or, this is like, let's go. But if you close your eyes, How am I going to be an optimist? Did not know they were lyrics. Just everything that's going on behind this voice. But if you close your eyes, can you imagine this vibe? You would be going up. Oh, am I gonna be an optimist? I was singing like the got that. We begin. I don't actually know what the song is about. But if you close your eyes, it almost feel like it's got like quite sad undertones too. Banger, banger, just as good as I remember. So intricate in what's going on behind his voice. There was some chickadee, like little uh, in there somewhere. I love how, like, how can you say, how am I going to be an optimist about this in a song? I swear I was singing, like, how I'm going to get enough to get that out. Like, I, it's one of those songs where I don't think many people would know those were the lyrics. That is where those are the lyrics. Stunning, such an epic way to open an album. I'm keen for the rest of the album. I mean, if it's at this caliber, it's going to be such a like a sick album. I'm so, so, so keen. The next song is Things We Lost in the Fire. I think I know this one. Again, this one I probably know less than Pompeii if it's a song I'm thinking. So I'm keen to hear the lyrics of the things that we lost in the fire. Is this about like Pompeii, like Mount Vesuvius? Because we've got Pompeii and then fire. I don't know. Let me know what these songs are about. Let's go. We're all just so like royal sounding. Oh, the lyrics are so good. 
Dan Smith, he wrote that as well, so I'm gonna guess he's a lead singer. I don't know if it's like a Panic in the Disco scenario where it's just a dude singing and they've got the band they, who just do the instruments. Album cover of Bad Blood, yeah, it's like a movie, you know, title in terms of how it's, you know, designed. Such a sick song. I love, I always love songs that when you think that what they are and they turn within the song, you're like, oh my god, is this what it's actually about? So yeah, definitely, I guess it's, yeah, it could be things you've lost on a fly, but definitely, you know, the breakdown of relation of things you've lost. Oh, I'm out of breath because I'm just like, oh my god, lyrically, so so good. I love the yeah, soul written. So underestimated. It's funny because obviously, you know, that's quite singer songwriting or ulti little indie chickadee or dude who's writing their own songs. But because it's in this very huge, I guess, commercialized song, you forget there's just one person who's written it. So yeah, so impressive. Movie cover, little album. Yeah, very theatrical, very cinematic, very, yeah, these would have been used in so many movies, I'm sure, somewhere along the day. I'm keen. The next song is Bad Blood, the title track. So let's see what this encompasses. Is it the album? What vibe? We've just gone after two epic songs, so I hope it doesn't just flat line now we at least we stay you know in the in the positives let's go oh this album is gonna be sick Solo written by Danny L. Boys, Danny Smith. So yeah, I'm gonna guess he's done most of them. Obviously, we'll see. Loved it. Like I said, not as I guess as smashing as the first two, but still just as good production-wise. Probably a bit more intricate, I think, just with so much of what was going on. Yeah, I love that. It's been cold for years. Let the bad blood dry. Kind of like move on. Very cool, interesting song. Again, his little voice is so cute when it goes and does these little things within it. I'm impressed. I'm keen. The next song is Overjoyed. Let's go. Oh, I feel overjoyed. Oh, Dumb. If we're gonna s the echo. Oh my god, the piano. Do my work. <laughs> oh, let's go. Thinking in. Oh my god, I love this sound. Oh, crawling underneath your skin. And then it's like just gonna smash in for the last scene. What's gonna happen? Like a slow mo run or something. God, that was the best song, production-wise, sound-wise, everything-wise, perfect. I liked how it started and finished the same way. Climatical, juicy, the best. You can absolutely imagine that. Why has no major, huge, iconic TV show used that song? I need to become a producer, I need to create TV shows, I need to be their sound engineer, people, selector, 
things. <laughs> Best song, my favourite song so far, it's going to be hard to top that one, I think. The next song is These Streets. Let's go. They are so cool. These streets are yours, you can keep them. one definitely had so many cool little elements and like I said every song just has it you just want to move to it I guess the weakest for me in terms of the first four that we've come and when you have a song like Overjoyed when you love it so much the next song always has a big challenge to live up to the hype of what you've just given not a bad song just not the strongest on the album for me number six is here on favorite number is it gonna give us the best song on the album now this one is called Weight of Living Part 2 so we're going on with part 2 the sequel before the original is it gonna be better let's find out let's go <laughs> Oh, little buddy, video game. Where a child was to be Very cool moments in that song, that doo -doo 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 -doo, the vocals and just the soft, questionable moments. I really wish there was more of that in there. The chorus, I guess, just didn't love up to the verses, all those questions, like I said. Interesting, I guess they're not all going to be bangerangers, and even though these last two aren't super hitting, they're still cool. There's still some really sick elements to it, and it doesn't leave you sitting here going, oh my god, shut up. You still, I was still intrigued to hear what he was going to say or ask me, which is, yeah, I like that. Next song is Inc Incarus, Incarus, Incarus. Let's go. His voice. So, so under like as to like the priest and the I don't know. See like so somatic. one I really like that <laughs> lyrics while there's some sick 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 ones a lot of them are quite ambiguous in what they mean unless you and because the sounds are so cool and his voice takes over if you get to read along you're like okay what is actually happening what is this song about all I can pitch was this bird flying to a sun I don't even know if an Icarus is a bird maybe I don't know let me know what the hell all the songs are about. I really like that one though. It's just Giga. It's just a cool beat. I liked his voice. I like some of the again the questions and the statements that he makes they really hit yeah which I like. Next song is Oblivion. Let's go. Little love song. Yeah, very like heavenly sounding. 
much longer just because you were so lost in it and absorbed in this yeah transitional part of life into somewhere else i don't know oblivion what the hell is it mean though <laughs> what well, yeah i love that i like it and i'm like i don't know what it means but also there are elements that you relate to and connect to as well stunning like i said these weird little production always coming into such a magical song very cool very nice loved it loved his voice loved going up that felt so i don't know what the language is, is for different <laughs> no, it's on. <laughs> anyway, I love the song, it was sick. Next song is called Flaws. Let's go. Nice, I like that. All your flaws and all my flaws. I really like that. Very cool. Love it. The next song is Daniel in the Den. I'm gonna guess this is about him being Dan Smith. Let's find out what he's got to say. Let's go. Ooh. I always think I'm like, are we gonna slow it down? But then the production usually kicks in. Being alone. Specifically, obviously it gives you that royal kind of feel, but then yeah, failed by the ones who you think you love being betrayed and things like that. Stunning vocals, production that like I said, the way they just implement weird little sounds and it just works. Oh my god, I love that. That and overjoyed are my absolute two standout favorites. Yeah, well, both so cinematic. So I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it again. TV show. Get it on there. Next song is Laura Palmer, whoever this chickadee is. Let's find out who Laura is. Let's go. Ooh. Well, that was almost like misery business starting up. <laughs> Very bloody wire. The night was all you had. You see that like backing
I don't know who Laura Palmer is. Yeah, I really like that song though. That was just quintessential them, I think, at this point. Everything that I've already spoken about, but just so full, so just captivating. It makes you keep wanting to listening. I loved it. Sick. We're like, what, 10, that was 11th song, and we're still just at the same caliber of what they're about, which I really like. The next song is the last song on the album called Get Home, which is quite appropriate. It's like, we've been out, we've been doing our things. It's like, all right, let's get home now. The album's about to end. The movie's ending. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna get myself back home. Oh, get myself back home. Most people standing <laughs> at the end. so subtle but still again so hitting with the stuff that they've been doing throughout the whole album definitely wraps up really nicely yeah well what have i been through i mean i think it's like 45 minutes of standard edition so so much cram packed into it in terms of like production lyrical content even though the songs feel really short they still just give you so much you go through so many emotions and thoughts so it definitely impacts the length and how you feel about it pompeii things are lost in the fire bad blood overjoyed dan the best five for me for sure dan and overjoyed absolutely the best two Obviously, Pompeii and Things We Lost in the Fire are epic, but you know, I knew them. Get Home I Loved, Laura Palmer was sick, Oblivion was Stana Rama, Incarus was sick. I think Weight of Living Part 2 was maybe the weakest, and these streets, these two, these ones were the weakest for me. Epic album, production so intricate, his voice is amazing, lyrical genius. Weird, abstract, let me know what they are, obviously. Austin killing it with this recommendation so 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 epic not a dull moment other than a few like the tiniest softer songs but like i said even with their softer songs they still have the elements that you love about the other ones i can't wait to play overjoyed on repeat for the rest of the day stunning I, i'm like i want to edit just an episode just to see how it would look with a you know a dramatic part in a tv show so good oh my god austin thank you so much as always if you want to see the full uncut edition it's on patreon link is down below hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of me thank you again austin such such a cool recommendation. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Ben is gonna go.